So today I'm creating a map animation where we're going to visualize the Japanese forces running the Americans out of the Philippines during World War II. And we're going to create this visualization using just one individual shape layer. So I'm going to be using multiple shape groups and merge paths operators inside of one layer to create this look, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now I'm using a premium extension called GeoLayers 3 in After Effects to create my maps. However, you do not need this to follow along. You can just go over to a site like freevectormaps.com and grab a, um, a country polygon and bring it in After Effects, and you'll be able to follow along and create the same look. And if you want to learn more about GeoLayers 3, just follow the links in the video description to see what it's all about. Now I'm going to come up here to the search bar, and I'm going to go and grab the Philippines as a map feature so that I can draw it out. And I've already got some shape layer styles here. So I'm going to use blue to represent the US and then we'll have red for Japan. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out this shape layer so we can visualize the United States here. So here we have the United States in blue. If I open up my new shape layer, we have contents and we have this shape group for the Philippines. And if I open up the shape group, we have a bunch of other smaller shape groups. And these are all the individual paths of the islands and the Philippines, as you know, has a lot of islands. So there are a lot of different shape groups here. Now shape groups always have like a transformation property in them. And this particular one has a stroke and a fill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new shape. We're gonna animate that shape and we're gonna use that as like a mask. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna grab the Philippines. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have anything else selected and I'm gonna grab the pin tool or select the pin tool and I'm just gonna draw out a new shape here. And as long as I don't have any other groups selected, as I draw this out, I'm just gonna draw out three little vertices here and close it off. So we have something like this. Now this has created a new shape group. If I open this up, you can see now we have a path with a stroke and a fill and transformation properties. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. We'll call this invasion. And I'm gonna open up the path and I'm just gonna add a keyframe. And now I'm going to bring my playhead to the five second mark. And now I want to animate this front line that we're going to be using as a mask. So I'll grab one of the vertices here and I'm just going to move this down. And we're going to create a very, very simple animation here. Now, obviously this is not historically accurate. I'm sure the Japanese like invaded from a specific island and then it slowly, you know, they took over and had all these other things that are going on. But for the purposes of brevity of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do like a really uh, basic generic animation here. Okay, now I have these two keyframes and if I shuttle through here, you can see we've got this new shape that is animating over top of this shape. And you'll notice they have their own strokes. They're not really interacting with each other. So you can get shape groups to kind of interact with each other using an operator or an animator called merge paths. So to use a merge paths, I'm gonna grab the shape layer and make sure that I have no other shape groups selected. And I'm gonna click on this little add menu here. You can also see it up here in your toolbar. And right here you can see merge paths. I'm gonna click on this and you'll see it adds these three new features here. So we have merge paths, we have stroke, and we have fill. And it's added underneath our two shape groups. So shapes or shape layers are a little confusing because they go like, um, top to bottom. They're a little different from how you would visualize layers in an After Effects timeline. They're kind of flipped. So what this is doing now, if I look at it, you can see now our stroke, you can see it's kind of being blended together or merged. And that's because our merge paths mode is set to add. But this isn't what we want. We don't want these all like adding together. We want to essentially have this shape be subtracted from the Philippines here. So we want, th this is visualizing like the US forces are being driven out. So to do this, we just go to subtract. Okay, now we have a little bit of a problem here and that's because we're subtracting the Philippines from the shape. We want the, this to happen the other way around. And the easiest way to do this is to just change the order of our shape groups. So right now, if we look at this, the invasion here, the way this is working is we are subtracting the Philippine shape group from the invasion group. So to subtract the invasion from the Philippines, we just need to grab this and move it on top here. Make sure you don't drop these groups uh, in each other because it, you know, cause a problem. Okay, so now it's subtracting here, but we lost all of our islands except for the main island. And this is because 
we need to add a merge paths within the shape group of the Philippines. Because right now it's just looking at the one shape group on top, the sub shape group. So to do that, what I do here is I select the shape group for the Philippines, click on add again, and now it will add this merge paths within the shape group and only apply it to this shape group. So I will click merge paths and now it opens this up and at the bottom and add in a merge paths. And you can see it's within this shape group. And if I turn off full screen again, now you can see it is indeed working on all the islands. That's kind of why I wanted to use the Philippines here as an example, because um, you could be doing this technique on all these other countries and not realize that you that it's only being applied to that top like sh sub shape group. Okay, so now we're like halfway done with the animation here. We essentially have um, the American forces here disappearing from the Philippines. But now we want to, everywhere that it's disappearing, we want to show it turning red. We want it to essentially just be red to visualize the Japanese have taken over that particular portion. So to do that now, all we really need to do is group all of this together and then invert, like just change the merge mode. So the way that we do this is we grab all of these elements that we have just created, right click over here and say group shapes. So we're grouping the group shapes and then the other group shapes, it's, it gets pretty confusing. And now I can just hit enter and rename this and call it retreating US forces or whatever we want. And now if I duplicate this, I'm gonna hold control or command, hit D. So now we have the, another shape group. And if I hit enter, I can call this advancing Japanese forces. I'm gonna open this up and this is the exact same thing. So if I turn off the visibility of the US here, we're just gonna turn off the visibility. We have the same exact thing here. So I need to jump into this one and all I have to do is go to merge paths and, and um, basically change the mode here. And if you look at it, we have two shapes here. So what we want to do is we just want all of these polygons to be filled in as this path moves over. So we essentially want these to be revealed as these shapes intersect each other. As the shape that I animated on intersects with the polygon, we want this to be visible. So just switch your merge paths mode to intersect. And now, there we go, now we have this, okay? So if I turn these both back on, now we have these blue, and you can just see that line moving through. Now all I have to do is go to this shape group and switch it to red. So I'm just going to change the hue here, and we have these really god-awful, super saturated um, things. And now we pretty much have our animation here. And I'm gonna go and change the blend mode here so we can switch this to overlay. And one of the big reasons you want to create an animation like this is because when you use blend modes, you, and we're blending with this satellite imagery and we don't want to have multiple shape layers on top of each other because that will mess with your blend mode. This is giving you like a pure blend. And this is pretty much our animation here. Now, this tutorial is called Method 2. Well, about a year ago, I did Method 1, which consisted of a totally different workflow still a really streamlined super cool workflow that only requires using three layers it was two shape layers and then a solid that you use as a mat and then you apply a mask to that and just animate uh, the mask on the solid and then use track mats from both of the shape layers really cool technique but what this allows you to do is harness the power of shape layers and you can tell in fact i think someone even left a comment on the method one video saying hey what if we want to have uh, you know, the stroke or the borders on that line. This technique lets you do this. It lets you harness all the power of shape layers and the vector instead of using a solid. So the benefit of using the solid technique in method one is that you can apply a turbulent displace and really go crazy with it. And as you zoom around on geo layers, that turbulent displace is gonna stay stuck to the zoom. Whereas this, um, if you have a turbulent displace on this, it's gonna wiggle around as you zoom around. So it's not as great. However, you do get the nice borders that are like merging together. Let me show you one other thing. I'm gonna grab this and hit the U key. If you really wanna streamline this, now we have these you know, two animations here, which are essentially doing the same thing. And we always want these to be stuck together because we have two paths. So all you need to do is property pick whip one to the other. And now you can just grab this second path and you could actually delete the keyframes from the first one and then just grab this one and as you move it around both of the paths are going to move around so the Japanese forces will move in sync with your US forces and everything will be 
kind of linked up together. Super cool. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, if you want to go check out method one, I will link to that down in the video description. And I'm going to link to another video as well where I show you how to put like little symbols along a path. That's a very cool uh, tutorial. And if you want to learn more about the art of map animations, go check out my Patreon page. And if you want to become a master of GeoLayers 3, I have a GeoLayers 3 masterclass. And more recently, I've put out a Battle Maps masterclass. All of the links for everything are down in the video description. Thanks. See you in the next one.